What's, What's up, C squad? squad? It's your boy Nigel C and Daddy C. I'm Daddy Son. Kick talk. And today we're here kick talking about about the Air Jordan Trophy Room Jordan Seven New Sheriff in town. Yeah. All right. So before we get into this new box, New Sheriff in town. That, yeah, there's a new sheriff in town. Indeed. Before we get into this box, Nigel, Damn. what should they do if it's their first time here? Y'all need to ring that notification bell. Or else you gonna go to hell. That's the language, boy. That's not language. That's a place. <laughs> All right, fine. So, trophy room. You familiar with trophy room? Yeah, you know me, man. Back in my day, the way I was on a track and field, on a football team, on a soccer team, on a basketball team, well, all of that stuff. All I know is a trophy room is that room you got in your room where you just got all the trophies. Mm. Personally. Boom. That's very true. Yeah. But are you familiar with the company, the brand trophy room? That no. would be involved in a collab with Jordan Brand. Okay. I am not. All right. So for those that don't know, if you don't know, Trophy Room is a company. They're based out of Orlando, Florida. It is a Disney. sportswear. Yeah, near Disney. Sportswear design brand owned by uh, Marcus Jordan, son of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Right? So <laughs> Jeffrey. Yeah. Michael Jeffrey Jordan is Michael Jordan's That's middle name. name. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Michael Jeffrey <laughs> Jordan. Yeah, uh -huh. everybody knows that. So his son Marcus, right, owns the Trophy Room store, and this is their third release of a Jordan collab. You know, when you're Michael Jordan's son, you can kind of do, you know, you would think you can do anything you want, right? Mm -hmm. And they've done a lot with this shoe. We're gonna get into it. And just a little backstory, Trophy Room also was in a big hubbub about a year or so ago when they did a collab on the Freeze Out game Trophy Room 1s. Mm -hmm. So they were like a Chicago colorway. They yeah. had like an ice kind of glaze over the whole shoe. Uh -huh. And it was a big deal, of course. They backdoored. My I friend, remember this. I was, yeah. You, you heard about uh -huh. it. Marcus Jordan backdoored a ton of pairs of yeah. those shoes, which to me, again, why? Like, that's I mean, so shysty, too. Like, that's your pops. Yeah, your pops is rich. It's your brand, your dad's brand, right. his business relationships. Like, I still to this day don't understand how that was done, why it was done. And here we go, another collab. He's still in business, whatever. I don't know, maybe it's just rich people rules. Uh -huh. You know, they, they play by a different set of rules. Yeah. Marcus Jordan, if you're watching this video, tell me, man. Let me know if there's something I'm missing in this backstory. Clear some things up, clear the air. Mm -hmm. Love to find out more. Or if you guys out there know, tell me down in the comments. Maybe I'm missing some details. You know, resellers, whatever, the brands, and all of that. But all that aside, we're just talking about this shoe today. There's a ton of detailing in the box, in okay. the shoe, in the backstory tied to the shoe. Mm -hmm. So let's just initially let's just get into the box all right you want to do that yeah let's do that all right so, so first off yeah what i'm seeing is mm -hmm. i don't know the back straight all that but i just peeked yeah on the front this joint looked like a straight up like video game like <laughs> this looks like a like a legendary edition you know those ultimate editions of video game discs there you go like the ones that are like a hundred dollars instead of the regular 60 ver 60 dollar version that's what this looks like <laughs> like god of war jordan it's like the upgraded yeah yeah the, the box edition. The trophy room edition. it is i mean you know? even the box i mean you got uh -huh. your jordan 7 box uh -huh. this kind of flip top but you yeah. got like a you know you got the gold even a finger hole on the side is that's like <laughs> a gold trim on that All right you got the trophy room logo mm -hmm. on the side here with the nike air mm -hmm. and this is a size 13 so i hit this actually oh. off of the trophy room site drop not sneakers hit it for a buddy of mine so it's, it's not mine yeah and also yeah they got the the michael jordan signature on the back of the box so they really, you know, they put a lot of detail just in that part. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so when we go inside, uh -huh. we're going to look at the top of the box. And what does that say? New Sheriff in town. Mm. And we'll get into the story of what that means in a little in bit. And there's also a date in the top corner of this box. It's June 22nd. 1992. 1992. What happened on that date? Michael Listen, Jordan had a game. He did something. That was when he did his legendary... That's when he did the... That's when he did this. No, it's not. That's when he. <laughs> you'll you'll find out. You would never guess it. It's a lot of backstory. All right, to watch this. this then. Watch to this. this, to this that's shoot. when. That's when he took a dunk from the feet door line. Nope. That's when he dropped thirty. Nope. Flu game. Nope. That's when he. Uh... <laughs> Stop guessing, man. <laughs> if y'all know early before we get to it, drop it in the comments. Mm -hmm. We'd we'll love to hear from you. <laughs> get into the box. That's when he got the trophy. No. Uh, maybe, maybe a trophy. Hmm. That's why he won his first final. Nope. That's when wrong. he got his last final. Let me tell you, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you throwing a lot of stuff against the wall. You getting close with a couple of pieces, but there's a lot of details mm. that that don't, that won't add up. 
Okay. All right. So we got some extra laces in here, lace bags. You got nice. some red laces, and this is like a white or almost like a cream lace with gold like tips. White, right? Is it white white? I think it's white white. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it is. Yeah, we got this. Golden Agulets. Yeah, Golden Agulets. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because of course this is like the deluxe edition, like yeah. you said. Uh-huh. So you got the like the coach's clipboard. You can yeah. draw up your plays. <laughs> Offense and defense, right? Yeah. Then you got a story on the back. And that's a nice long story. I'm not gonna read all of that to you, but I can break down in clip notes and tell you what it's generally speaking to. Mm -hmm. And then when you lift up the play, mm -hmm. the, the play board, there's also something in here that shows teams, and this is white and blue. And now that ties into the story of the shoe itself. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so we got that. See that. Sure. It's another clue. It's a lot of clues, but you have to read that whole card. That is a clue. But yeah, on the back is the, the full story. Oh, yeah. Right. I want I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> and that's long. We'll be sitting there waiting three minutes for you to finish reading. All right, so we'll get to the shoe, and then we'll come back to the box. There's a lot of, a lot of stuff to cover here, y'all. Yeah. So we got the trophy room tissue paper that's really nice. Wow, this is some crazy detail. We got some Jordan signature, the jump man. You got a ball with the, the sheriff, like a sheriff huh. star with 23 on it. That's hard. Right. That's a new sheriff in town, yeah. right? All right. Again, that's a size 13, so All these right. are pretty big. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a, it's a beautiful shoe. Oh, my. Yeah. It's a lot of detail in this Jordan 7. Yeah. <laughs> this is like a superhero. <laughs> it is. Like, you should have a cape when you wear this. Yes, bro. Agreed. Oh <laughs> Agreed. And I'll... Oh, that's so hard. All right, so in the actual shoe box, that's so crazy. You got a whole basketball court. You got a for real court in the <laughs> shoe box with the stands and everything, right? Like all the seats. Oh, I thought those were gold bars. No, <laughs> those are seats. Okay, oh, that's tough. So it's an empty gym, and again, ties back to the shoe, mm. right? The trophy room logo and half okay. court, but pretty slick, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So here we go. It's empty. That's, oh. that's a clue, right? Mm, that is a clue. All right. That empty. He's playing a pickup game. Uh oh. He was playing a pickup game between. This is real, y'all. Blue and white. Pickup game. Uh huh. And the pickup game mm -hmm. was. When did they just play pickup games in the NBA? Ah. <laughs> ah. On their own time? Was that. What's that got to do with a show? Right. It was a real important pickup. Oh no. Here we go. I don't know. You're about to find out. Oh, say less. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. So, story time. <clears throat> and then we'll get into the detailing of the shoe. All right. All right. So, this shoe, I will say, you know, it's kind of built off of the, obviously, the Jordan 7, but built off of the Olympics colorway that, you know, the only thing they're kind of missing on this is like they had silver and white on the old school, you know, the actual Olympic 7s. It was mm -hmm. white, red, blue, and silver. But this is, of course, the trophy room, more detailed. They changed up some things. They give you all this red now as the base of the shoe. Mm -hmm. All of this is nice premium, premium suede. Now, this is really like premium rich. suede. Uh huh. And I mean, you get, you know, gold around the, the lace holes in the shoe, actual metal, where yeah. normally it's just the material, you know, to, to push your, mm -hmm. your laces through. The Jumpman logo on the side, that's actually metal. Here, that's straight up gold. <laughs> you know, on the back of the shoe, you got the triangle on now, the, the back. The back of the shoe is so hard. That's metal. The triangle yeah. with the nine on it. Yeah. That's so tough. So the nine is Michael Jordan's Olympic number. So that's what he wore. Uh, and we, we're taking it back to the, think back to the 1992 Dream Team. So the Dream right. Team was, you know, basically right before the Dream Team, is, you know, of that era, mm -hmm. the Olympic players were not NBA players. It was only mm -hmm. college players. You couldn't have professional players playing in our, you know, representing the country in the Olympics. Really? Nope. It was all. It was college. Huh. So it was college players, and when the dream team happened, it was like they started to allow NBA players to play in the Olympics. And that is, hold on. So we got nice. And they was like, yo, these kids are really nice, so let's just let them play now. Let's just change the rules because we're good. <laughs> I mean, it's the, what they started letting, or they were letting, like, in the other countries, their countries, oh. you know, professional players could play. Oh. But our players were, were college really kids. Oh. So it was like, you know what, we got to make this more even, and then the NBA players could play. So then, of course, it was like slaughterhouse time. Yeah. Because you got the best players <laughs> in the world saying, now right. playing for the United uh -huh. States. But now, it, like right now, it's wide open. So, you know, all the, you know, mm -hmm. Luca is representing his country. You know, yeah. you got our guys, you know, LeBron and whoever else playing for the United States. So it was all professional, unprofessional, professional. But back yeah. in the day, it was college players. So, yeah, so the Olympic colorway, they added some other things to this. Mm -hmm. um, the Jordan 7 comes with this, you know, Hirachi-inspired neoprene 
inner boot and the tongue. You yeah. see that there? So this was the age when this shoe came out back in, what was that, 90, 92, when it was brand new. Huh. The Air Hirachi was big, right? The basketball shoe, the running shoe, yeah. and this whole neoprene, this like Lycra wetsuit type material was new getting introduced to shoes. Mm -hmm. So during that time, they put it, you know, and of course, Tinker Hatfield, Nike, all the new tech that was coming out. Dumped, they would, dumped all of it on here. You, drop, you <laughs> dump it in the Jordan, because the Jordan yeah. was the flagship. Mm -hmm. Like the Jordan got all the new stuff, right? Yeah. So that was the seven. This shoe on the back of the tongue, they actually do have, they have this new sheriff in town, embroidered on there. Yeah. And we'll talk about where that actually comes from. Some quality it materials is. on here. Man. Yeah, it's crazy detail and, and quality. And you know, the color is not necessarily a color I would rock, but yeah. after looking at this shoe and reviewing it, I really do like it a lot. Mm -hmm. More detail. So you got the heel of the shoe, which typically this little triangle on the back has the 23 on it. And this one has the number nine, nine Michael Jordan's number. Yours has nine too? Okay. No, that's the Trophy Room logo. I'm sorry. Oh. Trophy Room on one and then the nine on the other. Yeah. And then this rainbow kind of ribbon is actually like the lanyards that the Dream Team won. Of course, they won gold. Of course, yeah. So the, the ribbon that the gold, the neck, the uh, oh, that's metal was, was tied to looks just like With that. This too. Yeah. So it's like the whole. The gold metal. Yeah, that's tough. Plus the lanyard that is connected to yeah right so this is really this really is a flex yeah flex shoe that's tough and they you know they branded michael jordan's signature on the side of the shoe mm -hmm. which is pretty dope yes and this you know the, the color this is like a almost like a creamy kind of grayish off-white color yeah. which is similar to the color that was on like the hair sevens the ones the initial so the hair h-a-r-e <laughs> was like bugs bunny it was uh -huh. the first color it was like this color plus a reddish pink and like a gray and white different though different color blocking but the uh -huh. original seven that dropped the old like the first seven yeah was a bugs bunny yep it was a bugs bunny tie-in hair it was hair jordan and uh -huh. the commercials and it was like eh. oh did they drop with space jam before space jam so no space Oh. Jam, he was wearing 11s, uh -huh. which was years later. So this was like prior to all the Space yeah, Jam stuff. Had the whole yeah, collab going. the Bugs Bunny connection thing was oh. already happening. They did a Marvin the Martian pair of these. It's mm -hmm. like black and they had like green and red. It was like Marvin the Martian that colors. Sound hard. Yeah. So the tie-in for the shoe, the inspiration, all of that story behind it, new sheriff in town, goes back to this Olympic dream team time, mm -hmm. but it goes to their training facility. They trained in Monaco like six days prior to the Olympics. So this was the Barcelona games from Barcelona, Spain, but they trained, you know, for six days in Monaco and they played in this game. They call it the greatest game nobody ever saw. So, that's, tough. that's such a hard title. Yeah, it was. The greatest game nobody ever saw. And this was the teams. It was a pickup game, like uh, you said. It was yeah. Team Blue versus Team White. Now, let me tell you the teams. All right. Now, you, you're young, man. You might not, these names might not ring the biggest bells, but. If they that big, if they that tough, I'm going to know. I mean, all right. So. Try me. Let's go. This team. So, the blue team yep. was led by Magic Johnson. Of I know course. him. Who just, you know, he's still killing it. You know, mm -hmm. the Lakers, they dominated the 80s with Kareem and the whole crew. But Magic Johnson, Charles Barkley. I know him. David Robinson. I don't know him. Chris Mullen and Christian Leitner, right? Now, Christian Leitner was the college guy. Who are these people? Right. Christian Leitner was coming out of Duke. Uh -huh. um, and he was, you know, big time college player. And so that was the blue team. Mm -hmm. And then the white team, Michael Jordan, right? Carl Malone, yep. Patrick Ewing, Scottie Pippen. Mm -hmm. and Larry Bird. I'm guessing the white team won. <laughs> so. Because I know all of them. Right. So <laughs> this was that time period where it was like Michael Jordan was fresh off of his second championship, right? So he was still like young and up and coming. He wasn't 15 years in the league, right? This was 92. He came in the league in, I guess, 84, 85. So, you know, he's been in the league for a little while, but as far as like winning and, and proving himself, you know, he's he's kind of at that, early. he's early, but it's yeah. still, still like his prime. He's like on that uptick. Mm -hmm. And this game, in this time period was like the changing of the guard. So if you saw it in the last dance, there was a game that they had in Monaco. The gym was empty, just like the box. Mm -hmm. Right, they had this pickup game and Magic Johnson because of course these are all alphas, right? Yeah, all dominant. Really must have been a crazy major game. and Magic and Larry Bird. That's a two K game, bro. It is that's, right, exactly. That's really two K. Like the Hall of Fame that's players, the, uh, right, right? All playing against each other. That's crazy. And Michael is like the younger upstart mm -hmm. of the crew, right? Like he's the the youngest. Magic and those guys, they've been there for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan's like, you know, I'm the again new sheriff in town. Mm -hmm. So they played uh, the white the white team one. They one that was it's like 30. I mean, it was a low scoring game, 
the white one 40 to 36. So mm. four point ball game. Wow, there was cool. like some some beef, like, you know, <laughs> with fouls, of course, you know, they playing hard. Mm-hmm. And Coach Chuck Daly, who used to coach the Detroit Pistons, told them that for this game, like, give it all you got. So they played their heart out, 40 to 36, the white team won. Michael Jordan said it was the greatest game he's ever been in. And at the end of it, Magic Johnson said, well, you know, guess there's a new sheriff in town. And they basically it just all kind of really passed the torch. They really knighted him. They were That's like, crazy. He's the guy. This is, he is him. Oh. Magic Johnson was so mad, like, on the last <laughs> dance. This video on YouTube, mm-hmm. he takes the ball and just throws it into the stands <laughs> in this empty gym. Because, you know, of course, the ego, he's yeah. mad, of course. Mm-hmm. So, you know. That was it. The greatest game nobody ever saw. That really is an all-time. You know. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and there's, again, the changing of the guard. So oh. that was that. The shoe itself, man, the story, the storytelling, like all the details they put into this whole thing. And you can read about that whole story on the back of the, the little game, you know, clipboard situation here. I got you. But these are, nah, it's long, man. I got you. Oh. <laughs> Now, that might have been a little bit fast for a few of you guys. So if it was, then all you got to do is rewind it. Watch it again a little bit slower. Maybe put on the captions too. But, yo, we got to address a couple of things that yeah. we said in here. First off, MJ really that dude, bro. He's really <laughs> that guy. Yo, yeah. he said... Uh, Magic said after the game, right? Magic was like, it was all about Michael Jordan. That's all it was about, MJ. All it was about. MJ said, hey... It is the 90s. He said it's the 90s. Of course it's all about me. Right. Oh, like, sorry, old man. Right. Like, you old. It's me now. I'm I am a, him. Right. See, I'm him. You don't now, want any. He, you don't he want definitely any. said he's him. Hold on. After the game, right? He went into the locker room. MJ looked at Magic. He said, there's a new sheriff in town. Mm. Can you My imagine? God. Can you imagine? And then after you just beat them. Right. And you would tell him there's a new sheriff in town. I'm not going for that. And this is all like alpha male, dominant <laughs> yeah. energy. Uh-huh. Magic's like, I am him. MJ like, MJ no, like, I am I, him. And MJ is, MJ was, he won that, bro. Yeah, it was his time. It was, again, that passing of the mantle, the torch. They knighted him, like you said. Mm-hmm. And the rest is history. Even, guess what? Mm. Guess what? What? You know how they really pass it on? Look at this, look at this, right? Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, MJ to the MJ, bruh. Mm, the old MJ. The old MJ, now the it's the new, new MJ. MJ. Wow. But guess what else? What else? Guess what else? Now look at what it is. Now it's, look at your feelings here. Now it's the old 23 to the new 23. Come on, James. Oh, no, we not. Mm-mm. Okay. LeBron, LeBron Denial. is a 23, but fine. Whatever. Mm. Oh, <laughs> MJ, he agrees. MJ just MJ yes. retired. That's fine. Because oh, he retired. That's and, fine. You know, but Kobe was my my Michael apparent, right? Mm. 23 plus 1, 24. My man Kobe. 23 minus 15. 9. <laughs> no, 23 <laughs> minus 15. Is, <laughs> it's 8, bro. 23 <laughs> minus 8. Sorry. Yeah, that. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. What did I do wrong there? One last piece, I did want to also look at the insoles of the shoe. So take yeah. those out, buddy. So you got this, again, the ribbon colors on the back. The same is done with the insole. And you got this this uh, Dream Cell insole. So it's really nice that new quality wow. style they're doing. But this one here, welcome to the family. So that's from Trophy Room. Uh-huh. Which they actually said when I ordered the shoe, got an email said, welcome to the family. Where? And that one on the bottom. Oh, Go around this one. Yours says what? And this says the greatest game ever played, Monte Carlo. Was it ever played or never seen? Oh, greatest game. It says the greatest oh, game ever played. ever played. Okay. Greatest game ever played, Monte so this, Carlo. This was really a good, really good game, man. Yeah. And again, just the detailing, man. And then they give you that same kind of, you get the Olympic colorways, you know, kind of the relation on the bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I think that's it. This shoe did a lot, man. And, you know, and I know people, I've actually heard a few people talk about Sneaker of the Year. I'll say the detailing, the story, tie-in, the story are amazing. Definitely is crazy. Yeah, the story is dope. Yeah. I, I really will say that. Not my vote for Sneaker of the Year, only because of the colorway. It's not something that I personally will rock just for my personal style, yeah. but it is dope. Rating, man, what you think of the shoe? Bruh, let's say it at the same time. Three, two, one, 10. Ooh, you giving it a, you giving it the 10 spot? Bruh, I just heard that story. I ain't never heard that story before. <laughs> my mind's really blown because of how tough MJ was for that. It is so a tough story. It, that. I ain't gonna lie. it is a tough story. I'll give it, I'll give it a like 8.7. 
Okay, now we talk about the actual like shoe. Shoe, shoe, shoe. Yeah, that's the terms. Of, yeah. yeah, not the color. I mean, the story is yeah. The story is a ten. I'm kind of biased for that. Right? Yeah. Okay. But the, the shoe's not bad. Oh, yeah. You know, but that's yeah. your take. What you think? Nah, nah, not a ten. You wouldn't, you wouldn't get these and be like, these are so dope. I can't wait to rock them. Nah. Just because of the color, it's, it's a lot. Like mm -hmm. I don't wear red like that, and that's a lot of red. But dope shoe. If we talk about that, bro. Mm hmm I'm gonna get these like like a seven point five. Okay. All right. So we are settling around that eight mark. I got you. Yeah. Seven point five. I said eight point two. We average it about seven point seven. That's cool. Seven point seven five. That's cool. That, that works with me. <laughs> what are your thoughts on this shoe? Do you rate it higher than that? Are we are we out of touch with mm -hmm. this? I mean, it's a dope dope shoe. It is. But I don't want to just give it a nine ten just because it's trophy room. Right. You know, the hype is a thing, but that's not that doesn't influence my thoughts. It's still a shoe. It's a physical product. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And after the hype leaves. A month later, are you going to put this on your feet and rock exactly. it? So, I don't know. It's a dope shoe. For sure. Tell us again in the comments how you rate it. If it's your first time here, make sure you hit that notification bell. Tap in on IG at Real Daddy C. And we will see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.